Hi guys. Ooh. Ugh. Cracked. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we are doing a Wet n Wild palette review roundup. I have four, five, six, seven palettes. I, I can count. <laughs> I have seven palettes that have come out fairly, well, some not as recent, but recent-ish from Wet n Wild, and I have fully tested them out all out finally, and I wanted to give you all of my thoughts in this video. Since there's so many palettes, I'm not going to be doing a look for every palette, but I am going to be showing you swatches, and especially when it comes to some of these other limited edition palettes, the swatches tell a lot of the story. And I know you can't take everything from a swatch, but I've gone through and used these palettes several times, I've swatched them, I've played with them, I've worn them all day, and I'm going to give you my full thoughts on the, the Pac-Man Wet n Wild palette, the four limited edition Halloween palettes that came in their traditional 10 pan packaging, and the two quote limited edition Rebel Rose quads that are still available to this day on their website. So unfortunately, so many of these are misses for me, but there are some really good hits here. So let's just go ahead and jump right in with the Pac-Man palette. So the Pac-Man palette, it's technically called the Game Over palette and you get, I'm gonna not blind you guys, you get nine shades in here. It is a more colorful palette and overall the shades are actually really nice. I only have a problem with the two shimmers in this palette. I honestly, they should have just kept this an all matte palette if I'm being honest. The mattes work really well. They're not like super duper pigmented, but they're buildable. You can build them up. You can get some really nice looks out of here. I just really don't like the two shimmers, which are this orange shade and this like white shade down here. They're chalky. They're not really pigmented. They don't last well on your lid if you have hooded eyes. I mean, the only way I can really use them is as a, in a corner highlight, because then you can build it up, build it up, build it up, and it's in an area of your eye that doesn't really get too much, um, I don't know, wear and tear. <laughs> it doesn't take a lot to make a decent inner corner highlight, is what I'm saying, and that's really all I can use those shimmers for. So I honestly think if those were kept as mattes, this would have been a really great palette. Other than that, I really like the shades in here. I love the little imprints of the little ghosty goos on here. Let's, let's zoom. Look at how cute the little ghosty goos are. I, I, I really like this. I'm a huge Pac-Man fan. I love the packaging. I think this is so cute. Not only as like a little collector's item, but something I can actually use for the nice matte shades in here. So this one is a hit if you like some affordable, colorful mattes. If you're only interested, I don't know why you would be, but if you're really interested in using these two shimmers, they're just duds. Next, let's talk about the two Rebel Rose quads. So these are two quads. The first quad I'm going to talk about is called Bed of Roses. And this actually looks gorgeous. You got some deep like mauve purple kind of shades in here. And the packaging, can we just talk a second about the packaging? Because yes, it's like the plastic packaging, but you've got like this nice pink accent on here. And then I'm going to zoom you in on the actual pans. So not only are the shades pressed with this beautiful rose pattern, look at this pattern and it's like a bit of a raised pattern on the actual palette. It's gorgeous. This packaging is stunning and it's my aesthetic. <laughs> it is it is rebel rose, it is gothic, it is uh just, oh, it's beautiful. And I'm just sad to report that these two, I'm going to talk about the other one too, but these rebel rose quads just kind of suck. They're really hard to build up. I did do a Spotlight on Petite palettes with one of these. I forgot which one it was, but I'll link that up in the cards if you want to see it in action. The shades aren't really pigmented. They're patchy, and it takes a lot of work to get a simple look. When, like, when I'm reaching for a quad, I'm looking for, like, a quick, one good look out of it. I didn't get that out of these and it just so saddens me because this like I said this is like my aesthetic I would have reached for not only this color story but especially the next one this one is called House of Thorns and look at these colors this would be perfect for Christmas perfect for Halloween per perfect for anything <laughs> and as someone who loves like black and red and green like just very disappointed in these palettes and it just sucks. And I'm gonna swatch, this is the matte black from the House of Thorns palette. What I've found in these limited edition palettes, if you see a matte black, the... What's it called? 
the payoff for the matte black shades is so different. Like, that's what you're getting in these limited edition palettes is that the quality is going to be vastly different from one palette to another. So that's the pigmentation on the matte black in here, and you can't even really build it up. It's chalky. Uh, I am probably going to declutter both of these palettes. I'm going to, I'm, I need to do a big palette declutter. I don't know, probably right after the new year, but, um, these are so disappointing and I was like so excited for them and just like it just didn't work out all right so we're finally ready to talk about all of these 10 pan palettes these came out in like some really cute little not bundles I think they were available in bundles but for Halloween this year wet and wild came out with like different looks you could recreate for Halloween and like with each palette there was a whole other set there were like some um, cream paint pots there were some glitters there were some eyeliner like enough to do a whole look but I was really just interested in the palettes because they came in this packaging. Normally, like we've seen, whenever they do limited edition palettes, they come in different packaging. They come in quads or anything. But when I saw they were doing limited edition palettes in this packaging, I was like, I have to pick them up. Uh, at first, I was only able to find two of the palettes. So the two I was able to find first were In the Smoke, which is this black and red one, and Coffin Break, which is this one. I'm actually wearing it on my eyes today, which is the more neutral kind of one. I think this is supposed to be used for like a lion kind of costume look and then this one was supposed to be used more for like a vampire kind of look but I found those two right away and it took me until like right after Halloween to find the other two palettes which are Wizards in Training okay and the Boo Crew I think the Boo Crew is such a cute name <laughs> but so this is like the blue green palette and then this is the more purple blue kind of palette I'm gonna talk about my two least favorites and then we'll go into the two that actually like shocked me and that like I would recommend you pick up if you can still find them so the first one I'm gonna talk about is Wizards in Training so this purple one I was just really disappointed I'm at the end of this or sometime in the middle I'm gonna swatch all the matte black shades <laughs> side by side the the difference is kind of crazy, but this matte black was actually really bad. It's just not that good. The matte white, there's another matte white in another palette, but also it's like there's nothing there. And it's hard to build that up because there's like really nothing. The transition shades were okay, but like the shimmers here were just really meh. Even with a glitter glue, these didn't really stay. And they don't look as vibrant as you would want them to look for like these kind of shades, you know? The only shade I actually like really like is like the silver shade right here, but it looks so different like apply than it does in the pan. And I think that's kind of the par for the course of this palette is that everything looks so different applied than it does in the pan. So you're not getting what you think you're getting out of this. And so this one just not worth it. I would steer clear. Next we have In the Smoke. And unfortunately, I was kind of excited for this palette, but the shades just don't hold up okay first of all look at how chalky can you see the white powder everywhere that's from this matte white and that's just being in the packaging after I've used it a couple of times and I clean off my palettes after I use them for at least these anyway and I just have white powder everywhere so I always get that white powder everywhere the matte black in here is just meh like it's not the best it's not the worst and just the rest of the shades in the middle they were chalky, they don't really have a lot of pigmentation, and I, the shade selection was a bit odd because like if I want to do a smoky look, I want these dark smoky shades mostly matte. And then I would like a nice, I don't know, like I like the red shimmer and the matte red right there, but even though the, it's not really that pigmented and it's not their best mattes, I like that kind of selection right there. I was just confused as to why like every darker shade was a shimmer except for the matte black. I don't know. I really didn't like this palette. The shades don't work out the best. It's just disappointing. So now onto the two that actually really shocked me and I really liked these two. So the first one I'm going to talk about is the Boo Crew, which is this blue green one. And I was actually kind of like worried about this one too, because I had some comments and some people messaged me and said that this one was a dud. And I'm like, oh no, that's like the one I was most looking forward to. But I got this, I tried it out and I actually really like it. Out of all the palettes, this has the best matte black. So I'm gonna do just like, eh, eh, and look at that. And this one blends out really nicely. It's perfect as liner. Let me compare, we'll do the black matte comparison now. So we're gonna do Coffin Break, which is the next best matte black, just burn, burn. You see that difference? These are the same matte blacks 
from these palettes. Next, we're gonna do in the smoke. So I'm gonna take it and just go meh, meh. We have three different colors so far. And then for, for Wizards in Training, the matte black is in that smaller section. So I'm gonna use my pinky and just go meh, meh. We have four different colors here. These are all matte blacks from the same limited, ed ed limited edition like line. Look how crazy that is. So if you're looking for a good matte black, I would really recommend the one in the Boo Crew. That's like the best matte black and it blends really well and it looks really nice. And the rest of the shades in here are just so nice and creamy. And my only complaint is I would have liked to see one more matte green because there's only one matte green right here. The rest of the shades in the middle are all shimmers. So I think they went a little shimmer heavy, but it's a Halloween palette. I guess I can kind of understand that. I would have liked to see maybe this also be a matte or this one over here, but this is actually a really nice palette. I like the shades. I think they work really well and very surprised by that matte black. I think it's the best matte black I've seen from Wet n Wild. So last but certainly not least, we have the palette that I'm wearing on my eyes today, and that is Coffin Break. I actually really like this palette, even though it's the most neutral out of all of these. And I only have one big complaint about that, and it's the, the matte black in here. The matte black is not as good as the Boo Crew. If you'd taken the matte black from this palette and put it in here, this would have been a perfect like year round like neutral palette. It's pretty, it's gorgeous. I love the shimmers, the mattes blend out really well and you can get a full look out of here. And it just looks so nice. I, I really like this palette. Because of that, I would really recommend out of any of these palettes that I've talked about today, if you can find Coffin Break or the Boo Crew. These are really worth picking up, especially because this one was already on sale the day after Halloween and I got it for $2. Yes. And even then, these are normally $4.99. Can't really beat it. But for the price point, you're getting like various, varied, different qualities. So stay away from Rebel Rose. The Pac-Man is all right. And half of the Halloween palettes are trash. <laughs> So thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.